This is what Vladimir Putin wants you to see. Russian attack helicopters on the ground in Syria. And this, Sukhoi fighter jets. And why this picture of air-to-air -air missiles if the Syrian opposition, let alone ISIS, don't even have an air force? And don't forget them. The cruise missiles fired from Russian ships to targets in Syria all the way from the Caspian Sea. Yes, this is an air war and a ground war, but it's also an information war in which Russia is telling the West we can make a difference where you haven't. A difference for now in President Assad's favor. This is what it looks like beyond the photo op. Helicopters of the Russian attack variety, probably flown by Russian pilots, doing their work in northern Hama province. Strategically crucial and an area where there is no ISIS presence at all. The Russians are dominating the airspace, allowing the Syrian army to gain ground. Much of the artillery they use is supplied, you guessed it, by Russia. Moscow has very clear interests in Syria, primarily to protect its own bases. So what about NATO? Defence ministers met in Brussels today, 28 of them. In theory, one for all and all for one, especially these days Turkey, uncomfortably close to Syria and already complaining of incursions by Russia into its airspace. This was the warning of the world's most powerful military alliance. Russian actions and the support to the regime are not helpful. The recent violations of Turkish airspace are unacceptable. NATO will continue to follow the developments closely and we stand in strong solidarity with Turkey. Then there's NATO's other Russian nightmare in the Baltic states. Don't worry, this is only a training exercise. NATO's Baltic members have been feeding Moscow's heat for two years now. Today, their nerves were supposedly calmed by NATO doubling the size of its rapid response force to 40,000. Britain is sending 100 troops to three Baltic states. And here today was the man who's giving NATO these sleepless nights. Vladimir Putin presiding over the Russian Teacher of the Year Award. Most of his people still love his projection of Russian muscle. He has certainly given NATO a teachable moment. But the military and political quicksands of Syria may provide the ultimate teachable moment for Russia itself.